Good morning, folks. We've got notes on weather, seismicity, and astrophysics today, including some related to the ongoing NOVA examination. But we are starting with our star, and we find the last 24 hours with plasma filament activity near both the north and south polar crown, but not much else. No solar flares or eruptions aimed at Earth, large incoming coronal hole on the south. Looking at the solar wind, we are still inside the previous coronal hole stream, but it's very steady, leaving geomagnetic conditions calming after only brief periods of instability over the previous day. Should be calm the next 24 hours. We have a major cold wave on the way to the United States. Get those winter jackets out as records are likely to fall in the coming days with marks 15 to 20 degrees below normal. There was a big earthquake off the coast of Central America yesterday, luckily well offshore, but we have seen those precede volcanic events at the coast, so eyes on that this week. Speaking of quakes, a new kind of pre-earthquake signal, gamma radiation. We have seen this with atmospheric electricity, isotope content, geomagnetic field fluctuations, and more, but this is a new frame of how these big shakes give themselves away beforehand. Lots more on that in Chapter 7 of our book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Interesting piece up here, adding to the list of known recurrent nova stars. This comes 13 years after its last eruption, nudging at the notion that there's more to what we see than what we often see at first. And in that same vein, folks, we've gone over this concept a lot that they just don't know nova. Their rules and regulations about types of stars and their triggers keeps breaking so much that we've had to revisit that topic several times. That's the story again today as we've got another first. They once again refuse to use the word nova, instead saying spherical mass loss, which is a nova event, this time at a young brown dwarf. It has no binary and is the kind of star at which they had never seen this kind of activity before. Folks, there was a time they thought nova events only happened on white dwarfs accumulating material from a binary, but they've seen them on brown dwarfs now. Red supergiants, yellow hypergiants, with and without a binary, triggered by accretion, and some not. Basically bigger, smaller, up, down, front, back, and all around the classification of the sun. It is only a matter of time before they realize that any star can nova, including ours. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn everything about the solar micronova and why we expect it in the next decade or two with our playlists and books below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.